In this video, what we're going to do is calculate the time it takes for light to travel from the surface of the sun to Earth. Now we know that the distance between the sun and the Earth is 93 million miles. Another way to express this is that the distance is 93 times 10 to the 6 miles. Or another way that you often hear the average distance between the sun and the Earth is one astronomical unit. But in this case, we're just going to use a distance of 93 million miles. Now light travels from the surface of the sun at a constant velocity of 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. A constant velocity meaning that it moves equal distances in equal times. So what we need to do first is to make sure that our, our units of distance are consistent. So in this case, notice that we're recording the velocity of light in units of meters per second and the distance between the earth and the sun in units of miles. So what we should do first is convert this unit of miles to an SI unit, to a unit of a meter. So to do that, what we're going to do is take 93 times 10 to the 6 miles and convert that over to units of meters. So what you should know is that 1 mile is equal to 1.61 kilometers. And what you should see is that this unit of mile cancels out with this unit of mile. And now what we need to do is convert this unit of kilometers over two units of meters. And you should know that one kilometer is equal to exactly 1,000 meters. And again, this unit of kilometers cancels out with this unit of kilometers. And our final unit is units of meters. Now when we do this multiplication out, what you should get is about 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters. So now our units of length are consistent. So to calculate the time required, I'm going to not apply a formula. I'm basically going to say that the distance I need to travel is 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters. And the next step I'm going to do is I know that I'm going to travel 3 times 10 to the 8th meters every single second. And what you should see is that this unit of meter cancels out with this unit of meter, and I'm left with units of seconds. And when I do this division out, what you should see is that you get 499.1 seconds. And now the last step is to convert this unit of seconds to units of minutes to make more sense of it. So you should know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. And when you do this division out, you get 8.3 minutes. So the time it takes for a ray of light to travel from the surface of the sun and reach us here on Earth is about 8.3 minutes. Now there's one alternative approach that relies on a constant velocity formula to find distance. And that approach basically relies on the relationship that says for something moving at constant velocity, velocity equals the distance traveled divided by the time it takes to travel that distance. Now, what we're looking for in this case is time. So what we need to do is separate this time variable out. So to do that, you multiply both sides by time. And this cancels out with this. And what you should see is then you get a relationship that says velocity times time equals distance. And again, we're looking for time. So we need to divide out or isolate time. So we divide both sides by velocity. What you do to one side of an equation, you do to another. And this cancels out with this. And you're left with a relationship, or if you want to call it an equation, that says that time equals distance divided by velocity. And again, we know that the distance between the sun and the Earth is 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters. And we know that light is traveling at 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And when you do this division again, you get 499.1 seconds, which we already determined was equal to 8.31 minutes.